In-N-Out Burger is a regional chain of fast food restaurants that opened in 1948. Fresh every step of the way. Fresh tomato, lettuce, and onion. Two juicy beef patties with cheese. Serving Southern California for over 30 years with quality you can taste. In and out. That's what a hamburger is all about. In and out. In and out. In and Out Burger started in the Los Angeles suburb of Baldwin Park, California in 1948. Harry Snyder and his wife Esther opened what was said to be California's first drive through restaurant. It was located at the southwest corner of what is now the intersection of Interstate 10 and Francisquito Avenue. Harry Snyder had developed the idea of a drive through hamburger restaurant where customers would be able to order their food via a two-way speaker unit. This was a rather novel idea as most hamburger stands of the post-World War II era employed car hops to serve food to customers seated in their cars. The menu was limited to burgers, french fries, soft drinks, and milkshakes. The Snyder's priorities were simple serve customers high-quality, fresh food with efficient, friendly service in a clean and tidy environment. This business philosophy and the original menu have remained largely unchanged throughout the years. It was very important to the Snyders to maintain control of each location in order to continue achieving the high standards they had set as In-N-Out Burger's norm. Harry and Esther Snyder did not rush to open further outlets. In fact, three years would pass before they added a second In-N-Out Burger location. This new outlet was in the San Gabriel Valley east of Los Angeles in the town of Covina. As Californians became progressively car dependent and fast food drive throughs grew in popularity, the Snyders gradually added more outlets, some with double lane drive throughs to accommodate more customers. The third location was in Pasadena and the fourth was open west of the intersection of Grand Avenue and Arrow Highway in Covina, California in the late 1950s. The company remained a relatively small Southern California chain until the 1970s. Look closely at the landscaping at most in and out locations, and it's likely you'll notice at least a few palm trees planted around the perimeter, but two of those palms might seem slightly crooked with crisscrossing trunks that form the shape of an X. The founder of In-N-Out, Harry Snyder, wanted to choose a symbol that would set In-N-Out apart from other restaurants. He decided on an idea he picked from a movie, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World from the early 1960s. The movie, released in 1963, concerns a group of motorists on a mad dash to a state park in California where they believe a secret stash of cash is waiting for them underneath a big W. Toward the end of the film, the group arrives at a park and finds a formation of palm trees in the shape of a W marking the spot of the treasure. In and out founders, Harry Snyder liked the idea so much that he began planting palm trees outside of his restaurants in 1972, except in the shape of an X instead of a W to mark the spot of his own symbolic treasure. Harry Snyder oversaw In-N-Out Burger until 1976 when he passed away from cancer. By then, In-N-Out Burger had grown to 18 drive throughs all in Los Angeles County. Though only 24 years old, Rich Snyder assumed the role of president. His older brother Gus became vice president and Esther continued to work in the accounting department. 
Over the next 20 years, the chain experienced a period of rapid growth under Rich's leadership, expanding to 93 restaurants. In June of 1988, In-N-Out opened its 50th location, which was located in Thousand Palms, California. First location outside of Los Angeles metropolitan area was in San Diego County in 1990, the 57th location in the chain. In 1992, In-N-Out opened its first non-Southern California restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada. Its first Northern California location was opened the following year in Modesto. Expansion then spread to Northern California, including the San Francisco Bay Area, while additional Las Vegas area restaurants were added. Rich Snyder remained true to his parents' goal of serving only the freshest foods available. None of the ingredients were frozen and no microwaves were used. All orders were made to order, contributing to what some in the food industry considered a long wait for fast food hamburgers. The milkshakes were made with real ice cream and the burgers were 100% beef. The beef was ground and formed into patties by In-N-Out workers at the Baldwin Park facility. The lettuce was broken into leaves by hand and the buns were baked fresh using an old-fashioned sponge dough that took six to eight hours to rise. The potatoes for the french fries were shipped in in burlap sacks to the outlets where associates cut them by hand. In-N-Out has used Southern California grown Kennebec potatoes which are said to be ideal for frying. The french fries have always been fried in cholesterol free vegetable oil. After opening store number 93, In-N-Out in Fresno, California, on December 15, 1993, Rich Snyder and four other passengers died in a plane crash on approach to John Wayne Airport in Orange County, California. The charter aircraft they were on had been following a Boeing 757 in for landing, became caught in its wake turbulence, and crashed. Upon Rich Snyder's death in 1993, Guy Snyder assumed the presidency and continued the company's aggressive expansion. Under his leadership, In-N-Out's 100th location was opened in Gilroy, California on November 10, 1994. He was president for six years, expanding In-N-Out from 93 to 140 locations. In 1999, Guy Snyder died from an accidental overdose of a prescription painkiller. His mother, Esther, subsequently took over the presidency. The company opened locations in Arizona in 2000 and added new restaurants in Reno, Sparks, and Carson City, Nevada in late 2004. in and out became a huge success in these new locations. In December of 2005, in and outs 200th location was opened in Temecula, California. Esther died in 2006 at the age of 86 and passed the presidency to Mark Taylor, former vice president of operations. Taylor became the company's fifth president and first non-family member to hold the position, although he does have ties to the family. The company's current heiress is Lindsay Snyder, daughter of Guy and only grandchild of Esther and Harry Snyder. Snyder, who was 23 years old and known as Lindsay Martinez at her grandmother's death, owns the company through a trust. In 2008, In-N-Out expanded into the fourth state by opening a location in Utah, and within two years there were eight locations. By 2010, In-N-Out had expanded into Texas. After participating in various roles in the company, Lindsay Snyder assumed the presidency in 2010, becoming the company's sixth president. She gained control of 50% of the company in 2012 when she turned 30, and nearly full control at 35 in May of 2017. However, most major decisions are made by a seven-member executive team. In January of 2015, In-N-Out opened its 300th restaurant, which was located in Anaheim, California. At the time of the opening, the company had generated $558 million in annual sales and employed nearly 18,000 people in California, Nevada, 
Utah, Texas, and Arizona. Today, the In-N-Out menu still consists of three burger varieties, a hamburger, cheeseburger, and a double-double. French fries and fountain drinks are available, as well as three flavors of milkshakes. There are, however, additional named items not on the menu called their secret menu. Both protein and animal styles are house specialties that the company has trademarked because of their association with the chain. Currently, there are over 358 in and out locations in Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, Oregon, Texas, and Utah, with over 27,000 employees and annual revenues of $1.07 billion. Snyder does not intend to franchise nor sell and plans to pass on the ownership of the company to her children. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.